I have in my possession a secret map by the planners of the new world order. Because the global order is changing again. A new world order. Hurricane Matthew roars toward Jamaica, Haiti, and Cuba, ending this five-month-long type of the Hour of Temptation, which will actually last for five months. We don't know what time of the year, but May through September is the term of the locust. So we began with May 1st of this year, and you had the Communist May Day which was also Ishtar for the Russian Orthodox Church, and that's a type of when Satan is cast from heaven to the earth and the one world political system emerges, having feet like the feet of a bear. There's your communistic element, the mouth like the mouth of a lion. That's the Christian nations, and it's like a leopard, meaning the infrastructure of it is supplied by the Kenites and their four hidden dynasties of education, economics, politics, and religion. Three weeks before the middle of this May through September type that we're looking at, you had Brexit, a type of the deadly wound, apparently, and you see three weeks written of in Daniel chapter 10. Make of that what you will. Then in the middle, on July 15th, you had the Turkish coup, a complete military takeover, and that was our type of the beginning of the fourth and final stage of the Locust Army, the consumer stage in the actuality. Again, we don't know what time of the year it will transpire, but the term of the Locust is from May through September. Documentation you'll find in your companion Bible on the note on Revelation 9, where we learn that the seven-year-long hour of temptation was shortened to five months. At the end of the hour of temptation, the true Christ returns, and here we have the type of that along with the black moon. Remember, it's written in Matthew 24 that the moon shall not give her light upon the return of the true Christ immediately after the tribulation of those days, immediately after the five-month-long hour of temptation that begins with Satan and his angels being cast out of heaven unto the earth and the political one-world system emerging, then it's wounded to death, and then Satan appears as the false Christ in the middle of that five-month-long hour of temptation. Immediately after the tribulation of those days, shall the sun be darkened and the moon shall not give her light. In other words, that's when the true Christ returns, the brightness of his coming, destroying Satan's role of Antichrist and his one-world system, outshining the light of the sun, moon, and stars. So here we have the type of that with the black moon last night, as well as this Hurricane Matthew. Remember last year, the five-month-long example, the five-month-long type we were analyzing last year ended with Hurricane Joaquin, which is Jehoiakim. If you look in the Spanish translation of Ezekiel, you even see the word Hurricanado as well as Joaquin, which means Jehoiakim. Then if you go to Jeremiah chapter 24, you see that Jehoiakim is mentioned, the son of Jehoiakim, also known as Jeconiah, and then later God changed his name to Coniah. And the parable of the fig tree, the generation of the fig tree beginning in 1948, is ultimately fulfilled at the return of the true Christ. That's when he separates the good figs from the bad figs, which is the same analogy as separating the wheat from the tares, or the sheep from the goats that you can read of in Matthew chapter 25. And here we have Hurricane Matthew at the end of September. As it's also written in Matthew 24, whenever the true Christ returns, he shall send his angels to gather his elect from the four winds from one end of heaven to the other. And then right after that, he says, learn the parable of the fig tree. So there you'll have it. That's what he's talking about there gathering the good figs back to the land of Israel and casting the evil figs out into the outer darkness. Christ will say, get away from me, I never knew you. Depart from me, ye that work iniquity. He says that in Matthew chapter 7. So there you have it, Hurricane Matthew, another type, and this is a type of the end of the five-month-long hour of temptation. At the end of September, it having transpired from May through September, this type we were looking at, but again, it could happen at any time of the year. We're not saying that it will happen from May through September, but the events that we've analyzed during this five-month period fit the mold, letting you know what will most likely happen and when as applied to the five-month-long hour of temptation, having been shortened from seven years. Daniel's 70th week, which was seven years, is now shortened to a five-month period. 
but it could happen at any time of the year, be instant, in season and out of season. And as Christ said in the last verse of Mark chapter 13, what I say unto you, I say unto all, watch. Let me warn you. A new world order. And let me warn the nation. A new world order. Let me warn you. A new world order. <laughs>